And I want everyone listening to this show to stop saying phrases like, well, it is what it is, or we are where we are. And if you hear anyone saying those phrases, give them a little tap on the back of the head. Snap out of it. Because I think we need to start exploring the art of the possible. And this is why I invited Rick Burnett onto the show today. And he's the CEO and founder of Lane Axis. Now, I don't want to reveal too many spoilers, but Lane Axis is basically a virtual freight management system that seeks to disrupt the shipping industry by removing middlemen and inefficiencies and directly connecting shippers and carriers via proprietary blockchain network. So essentially, rather than accepting inefficiencies... Maybe the trucking industry can move away from outdated tech fraught with paper trails, long wait times and numerous middlemen and actually take advantage of independent truckers. Intrigued? I hope you are because I am. So buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to California so we can speak with Rick Burnett, CEO and founder of Line Axis. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, my name is uh, Rick Burnett, and I'm the CEO and founder of Lane Access, which we focus on uh, the supply chain industry on a global scale, looking to build the direct network between shipper, manufacturer, people that need to move product directly to a carrier, transportation, trucking company, down to the track it down to the driver level, and pushing all this functionality into the blockchain. So like you said there, it is a virtual freight management system that seeks to disrupt the shipping industry by directly connecting shipper and carriers via proprietary blockchain network. But can you just set the scene a little and tell the listeners a little bit more about exactly what it is and what problems you set out to solve? Because there's going to be some people that are not in that particular industry and unaware of the kind of problems and all the middlemen that are involved. Yeah, so uh, great question. You know, supply chain affects all of us that are listening to this because this is the actual food that we eat, the products, you know, clothes that you wear, various different products that you use, consume on a day-to-day basis. And so today it's entrenched in labor processes, uh, phoning, faxing, paperwork. A lot of people wouldn't realize that over 90% of all the movements on a global scale uh, rely on this type of, of phoning, faxing, and, and antiquated, outdated systems. Uh, a lot of big corporations do have tracking on the internal systems, but anytime they move outside their network, which is a large time on a day-to-day basis, they lose that visibility. So what Lane Access is focused on is really a three-legged stool, one, one of the legs being a proprietary blockchain, so standardizing the transportation movement which is moving product from point A to point B. We're tracking that in real time, pushing the subsets of the contract, insurance verification in the blockchain, the geofence location of the pickup and the delivery in the blockchain, and then all electronic documentation that's verified inside the blockchain. Parallel would be the second stool would be building the actual driver network. The individual, let's call it Facebook for truckers, the socialization piece that these millions of drivers on a global scale can interact, socialize, Uh, exchange information, uh, and then utilizing the token inside the network, gain reward system, if you will, for the various different products that they use inside the various different truck stops on a global scale, you know, uh, rebates on gas, you know, uh, consumption of products, food, shower, all the various different things they, they utilize. And then third would be the integration subsets because there's a myriad of different integration points that, you know, shippers manufacturers use so we're going to standardize that so it's very easy and within a few seconds be able to click and tender loads into the system and drill directly to the carrier down to the driver level so when you set out on your mission to improve this industry i've got to ask i mean why blockchain technology and can you tell me a little bit more about the story behind embracing this technology and why you felt it was not only so important but also the perfect fit over those more traditional methods yeah Unlike probably other industries, blockchain is a necessity in order to build the the network because today there is a large portion of these loads that's moved by a broker or third-party entity. And so blockchain allows the direct connectivity and to carve out that on an average 30% cost. So can you imagine every listener having a reduction in their food prices and their gas prices and the products that they consume on a day-to-day basis of 